The temperature of the extruder barrel close to the feed inlet, the rear zone, should be set to cause good forward conveying of the plastic. In a previous lesson, you learned that the best forward conveying of plastic occurs when the plastic slips on the screw but sticks to the barrel wall. Setting the temperature of the barrel close to the feed inlet is done by experience and usually requires relatively high temperatures so ample quantities of heat enter the plastic to get the plastic particles to stick to the barrel wall. But if too much heat is supplied to the raw material, the plastic particles will slip instead of sticking to the hot barrel wall, thereby reducing forward conveying. Most of the conductive heat to the plastic comes from the middle zone. You should set this zone to whatever is required to get the plastic to the desired temperature. But once the screw is at speed, the shear heat has a greater effect than the conductive heat. In the metering section, the barrel temperature should be set at or near the required melt temperature of the plastic. The general rule is that the head and die temperatures are set so there is no heating or cooling of the melts in those regions. However, there are exceptions. For example, die temperatures may be changed to affect surface finish or flow.